I find it odd that in 25,000 years of Jedi tradition, we only have seven detailed forms of lightsaber combat. The last two forms were developed late in galactic history, with Naman being a melting pot of all the other forms. The pod being unique to a few Jedi in the last days of the Republic, not to mention Judeo, which was outright banned. Each form was created for combat, to combat problems, weaknesses, combat the rising darkness. Does anyone find it odd that for champions of peace and balance, all the lightsaber forms are for combat? But what if there was a form that wasn't combat oriented? What if there was a form that melded the saber and the wielder into a true expression of the force. A peaceful, balanced, and beautiful way for the Jedi to meditate with their bonded kyber. For your consideration, physique. The way of the dancing kyber, the celebration form. Form 8. A non-combative practice with the lightsaber akin to Jedi meditation. In this form, the lightsaber wielder is sinking into a deep state of force trance. But rather than sitting motionless, they allow their bodies to become active moving conduits of the force. This manifests in their lightsaber crystals, causing them to hum and dance around the Jedi's body. Appearing as if the lightsaber is balanced and rolling across their limbs and torso. Chaining spins, rolls, and tosses of the saber in unbroken streaks of momentum makes for a style that looks more dangerous to the user than anyone else. But in truth, it's a way of coming to complete communion with the Force. This communion creates a bubble in the Force, magnetically sealing the body away from the arc of the plasma blade, while simultaneously pulling the energy levels of the blade down to training saber safe levels. Perhaps this Force ability can be studied and applied in combat in order to siphon energy away from the opponent. However, the amount of time it takes to sink into this trance makes it less than viable in combat. If you've made it this far, remember all the YouTube buttons help my content thrive. So all clicks are good clicks and the most important one is the notification bell to be alerted to my new stuff. The second most important button is the membership option, but it's always free to subscribe if you want to see more weird in your feed. Another great way to support the channel is to use code JEST at Viresabers.com next time you're in the market for a Saber upgrade. I've vetted a ton of Saber companies out there and Vire is one of the best options available when it comes to variable hilt compatible part selection as well as the best price available for pixel blades. Check out what they've got cooking at Viresabers.com and remember to use code JEST for 5% off your order. I'm also giving away a lightsaber at 50,000 subscribers. In order to be entered to win, all you have to do is comment on one of my long form videos. I'll be randomly selecting a commenter to be the winner of a gift card to Viresabers.com to build a VHC saber of your choice.